Welcome to Hillbilly Row and Dee. I am Hillbilly Row, and today we're going to make some breakfast. It is Sunday morning. Um, I don't know what the date is. Today's July 23rd. So, I'm going to make homemade biscuits and gravy with some um, scrambled eggs. Because Mr. D likes his scrambled eggs with biscuits and gravy. However, I do my gravy different because I cannot have meat um, that you normally would have for breakfast. So what I do is like a milk gravy and I add a little seasoning into that. So let's get started. Let this go on and then the sooner we start, the sooner I can eat because I'm hungry, y'all. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to look at my surface. Now I got my cast iron pan already out. So you want two cups of flour. And I always sift my flour. Because I leave my flour, I store it in the basement for the cellar. And when I do my flour, because of long storm storage, I store it with bay leaves. So, bay leaves, what that does is it stops some little bugs that get in your flour. It stops those. Now, I wouldn't have known that until my grandma told me. So, if you look in there, there's some bay leaves. <laughs> some bay leaves in there. There you go. Bay leaves. <laughs> so, that is why I sift all my flour. I always sift it. Um, but back in the day, they sifted flour because of bugs. So, that's why they had that big um, instrument to sift flowers with. So, in this, I have six tablespoons of cold... Oh, wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need a half teaspoon of salt. Yeah, I make these all the time and I cannot figure out what... Okay, there. So in this, I'm going to need a half teaspoon of salt, which I know y'all probably saying, why hasn't she done this already? Well, today's a little different. I'm not measuring out stuff until I get it out. So I use pink Himalayan salt, so we're going to give it a half teaspoon of that. And we want, I think, a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm sorry, two teaspoons. So I got my baking powder out here. So let me go back here and grab my teaspoon. One teaspoon. So I need two of these. One. And I try to get as level as possible. But if it's a little over, I don't care. So I got two teaspoons of baking powder. Not... Don't, now, don't get that mixed up with baking soda, because it wouldn't work out right. So, I'm going to take this and I'm going I'm to mix this together real good. I'm going to incorporate my flour in that. Oh, I forgot this recipe asked for sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Now... It asked for two, but you know what? I'm only giving her one. And this is good sugar. This is your diabetic friendly sugar. So two teaspoons of that. So after we get this, we are going to cook this in a cast iron skillet in an oven at 450. For about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's done. And you'll know it's done because your tops will be golden brown. Pretty. Now when I make my when I make my biscuits, I like I like them layered. So what I'm doing is I cut up some butter. So I'm putting um, six tablespoons of butter, but I cut this up into little pieces because who has time to sit here and just 
I'm too hungry to sit here and just be like, oh, I'm going to sit here and just do blend this for 20. I ain't got that much time, y'all. My belly says, eat, eat that girl, eat, and I'm, I want to eat. So I cut it up in little small pieces, and we're just going to go in here and incorporate that in with, the, with this fork. Now you can use your, um, you can use your, um, regular fork. You can use your, um, I forget what that thing's called. Where is it? Y'all see my ugly cabinet? This is my baker's show. You can use this, but I don't like using that. It's, it drives me nuts. And I'm already nuts. I don't need to go no further. So this just takes a minute. We'll be right back once we get all this mixed in. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, this is like little peas. It's like little peas. So that means your, your mix is going to have some... Oh, I'm making a mess. That means your mix is going to have some good butter in it. So you can leave those little peas there. They're good. Now it calls for three cups, three-fourths cup of milk. Now I got milk here. And I'm going to make me a dent in here. And I'm going to pour my milk. But I'm not going to pour all of it. Because sometimes it only takes a half cup. It depends on humidity and stuff. So we're going to get that incorporated in there. Oh, I used a big word, y'all. Incorporate it. So we're going to max this real good. So we will need that other cup a little bit. So it is getting mixed in there. We just want to make sure we get all that flour from the bottom down there. So we're just going to, oh, let's, we're going to put a little flour on our hands because we don't, we don't want them sticky. Good as time. Okay. Now that's out. We're going to have a little flared surface. Make sure you flour it a little bit. Or your dough will stick. Look for the fun. So let's get this out of my way. We don't need this no more. So now we're just going to push down on that dough. I need my dough cutter. Just because I'm extra. I always like doing this with the biscuits because then I get them even. You don't want to smash it out all the way because we're going to cut that into four. We're going to take these and stack them. And stack them again. This will get layers on your biscuits. This will make them fluffy. And you don't, you just want to push until you're, you're kind of, you don't want them flat, 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 because then they'll come out flat. So we're going to cut them again, and do that again. And I'll do this three or four times, but I ain't going to make y'all sit here and wait. 
Okay, we got that done. Let me grab a glass. So we're gonna finish smashing that out so it's about a half an inch thick. Now I like big biscuits. I don't know about y'all, but I like big biscuits. So I got my container. So there's one. And what you do is you just take that and fold it back over. There's two. And you roll this in. And then you go back and smash it out again. Well, you're not going to stick together, fool. Oh, well. Let her be out there. So we can get two more biscuits out of here. I'm lucky if I get six biscuits out of this. Because I like big biscuits. Now, if you like them little itty bitty biscuits, you'll get a. Uh, and there's number six. Now, the reason why I'm doing it this way, because you can see those those uh, layers in there, and that's what I want. I want layers in my biscuits. I don't have to. But I always grease my pan. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in the oven on 450. And we're going to check those in 10 minutes. I can't stand dirt. I, oh, I can't stand it. That was me, Sophia. I swear, I fart and this dog barks. If they didn't hear it, you shouldn't hear it. So I'm going to put this nut on 450 for um, 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to check these in about 12 minutes. We're going to grab down our other. Yes. My other cast iron skillet. Y'all, I'm, I'm the cast iron. I, I use cast iron for everything. Now I'm going to take the rest of that butter and I'm just going to drop that in here. Because, um, it don't matter. I got to mix an oil in there anyway. So we're just going to put a little bit more oil in there. And that's chicken fat. We got some mountains, so we're going to get that incorporated together. Make sure it's on medium low because you don't want to cook your stuff too high because you'll end up burning it. You don't want no burnt gravy. That's not cool, man. So I'm just going to sprinkle my, my, my flour in here. I might need more flour. I don't know if I need more flour. I'll get more flour. But you want to cook your flour. I never knew how to make gravy until Grandma Mary taught me. Um, my mom, I've seen her my whole life make gravy, but until I was an adult, I really didn't mind, care about making gravy, if that makes sense. My sister always made the gravy. So, we're gonna let that cook there for a minute. I'm gonna put some pepper in it. So that is cooked. So what we're going to do is add our milk. Now, it's just me and Mr. D. Well, Sophia. Lord, that child ate me out of house and home. So, I do it a little bit at a time. And I know I need to add more. That's okay. So, 
So I'm going to put those back yonder. Um, get this made. Because i got to get some eggs going, y'all. But you see how those biscuits come out? Flaky. That's what happens when you cut them and mix them and cut them and mix them. Um, the more you do that, the flakier your biscuits are going to be. Now, I seal up my edges sometimes because I use a mason jar. But yeah, we've lost a lot of family. And they'll be missed and cherished forever. I, I think it was this year that Uncle I died. Yeah. And then we didn't even know Uncle Jim was sick. So, he had cancer. And, you know, cancer gets a lot of our family. I wish cancer would get cancer and go away. Instead of hurting people. The pain and the anger that people have to go through. It's just... I used to be a hospice nurse, so... And I did home health care hospice, so I'd go to the houses and set up their ports and do their morphine. But it was always, I always liked that because, you know, towards the end of life, people really get um, to talk about their life as when they were young and, you know, things that they did. And that's like working in a nursing home. I loved it because... You would always hear the residents talking to each other. And, you know, Miss Thing over here, she was a, a barkeep. And Miss Thing over here was a lawyer. And Miss Thing over here was a, a nurse. And um, I call him Miss Thing because you can't mention names. And then Mr. over here, he was, he was a librarian. And then he had a roommate that was a doctor. And it's something you miss because you get to talking to them and you get to understanding their life and their history. And not a lot of people make it to be 80, 90, 100 years old. And most people that go to the nursing home, the family forgets about them. They don't go visit. And... If my parents ever got sick, sick like that, mm -mm, I'd be moving in with them. My mama better scoot over in bed because I'm moving in with her to take care of her. Same with my daddy. Um, but I got a sister that lives right out there about a football field away from my parents. Um, she can sit out on their front porch and see their front porch. And they can see <laughs> what she's doing. But, um, I don't go out there enough. Seems like, seems like every time I try to go out there, something comes up. And Mr. D's daddy's in the hospital right now. They don't know what's the matter with him. So if y'all pray, we would appreciate some prayers. Because they don't know what's on the matter with him. Now this seems like it's taking me forever. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever going to come through. <laughs> I'm joking. I know it will. But let me get these biscuits moved over yonder. And I'll get the eggs started up on top of this thing. Oh. eggs. Everybody's like, oh, the price of the eggs went down. No, mine are still $5 a pack. But I only eat, we only eat organic or natural. So let me get these eggs cracked into a, um, a bowl. That bowl up there will work. And let me grab my mixing fork that I had. So 
I'm gonna get these eggs. Now, Miss Sophia, she likes eggs. Now, I told Mr. D yesterday, I said, go down and, um, get some, some, um, sausage out of the fridge, freezer. Well, he didn't. So, guess what he's not getting for breakfast? He's not getting no sausage. Now, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of butter in here, because I like my eggs with butter. And this is thickening up real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a tad bit more milk. So we're gonna take the eggs, we're gonna mix them up. And yeah, I'm using my fork that I cut my, my biscuits with. Why worry? Why worry? Why dirty up another fork? I'm really picky, y'all. <laughs> I don't like dirty and that stuff unless I have to. Yonder I'll be there when the room is caught up yonder it's caught up yonder when the room is caught up yonder it's caught up yonder it's caught up yonder now this can be turned off because these are still going to cook because that pan is still hot be eating this. So we're just going to take a little bit. About that much. We're going to fire up his butt. Oh, that's hot. Get over it, girl. You got to grab the hot spoon and you left it there. Hey y'all, well we're back. That's our plates. I'm coming up. This is for Miss Sophia. <laughs> so, Mr. D is gonna taste test this. Go ahead. Okay. If well, it kills you, I don't wanna eat it. Bring the camera down so you can see. Well, they can see you, honey. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna try a bite here. Ooh, this looks good. Mmm. See me, I would say that needs more gravy. Mmm. Mm. Good. Yeah, delicious. And that's Sunday's breakfast. Well, this is brunch because it's um two twenty two. Yeah. Y'all have a great day. God bless. And remember, say your prayers, pray for your enemies, and be humble. Because someone's praying today for what you have. And we always want more. But let's be humble. Y'all have a great day. And we'll see you in the next episode.